Hi, everybody. Good morning. I don't even know what time it is. What is it? Oh, it's 9.05. Good morning, everybody. Hi. I don't know who's here and who's not. I'm going to get my YouTube, and that's okay. There we go. I got my chat up. This is wonderful. So it's so early in the morning. It's 9 o'clock. It's December 29th, and I just figured I was going to be doing some crafting. Um, and why not go live while I'm fumfering through this whole thing? I don't know if you can see the back. But no, it's that way behind me. Oh, I can't even, no, wait, that way. <laughs> Forget it. It's over there. One of those. It, my downstairs is a little bit of a mess. It hasn't been organized since um, since the holidays, but that's okay. So uh, let me see. No one's here yet, but that's okay. I'm just going to start to do some work. I have this idea of making a mantle clock. I took a cookie tin and it had a center in here. So I cut that out and I wanted to see, I don't have the clock works for it yet because there's another clock that I have upstairs. I should be looking in the camera. It always says to look into the camera, not down at you. Um, I have a clock upstairs that my father, it's a, it's an antique clock, and um, it's not a grandfather clock, it's a wall clock. It's in a lot of the pictures that I take uh, for the holidays, but it doesn't run. And my father always used to tinker with it. So I found a clock replacement parts uh, site on the internet, and I figured once I got this done, I'd also try to take that apart, and I might not be able to fix it, with its intentional parts but if i could just get it another uh newer piece to put in it and it runs that would be really nice because my father always uh liked it to run and it's one of those ones that you have to wind up with the key and honestly i would prefer if i could just put a battery in but i'm not sure i'm going to be able to do that but we'll see but i wanted to get this started before i started researching that so this is a cookie tin, and like I said, I took out the center, so that's where my clock is going to fit in here, in the back. And um, let me see. And then I have bought some frames, a lot of different frames from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to see if we can start to stack these just to give it a base. They're all different ones, just to give it a base so that it goes, and I don't know if anybody could see it, like that, that, okay? So, hey, Olivia, good morning. How are you? Merry, merry, I, if I didn't say it, and if I don't, and if I don't say it, and make sure you have a wonderful new year, everybody doing okay? You're my first guest, come on in. Okay, so that's what I'm going to try to be accomplishing. I don't know how far I'm going to get, because I really haven't uh, thought it all the way through. But I was talking to, yeah, tiered look, yes. I was talking with um, Joanne last night. And I don't know about you, I'm off this week, which is wonderful. Ah, uh, thank you, honey. Thanks, Olivia. I'm off this week, which is wonderful, and I can't seem to get my... Hey, Nikan, how are you? Hello, Merry, Merry, and a wonderful new year if I don't talk to you. Um, I can't seem to get my creative... Oh, maybe I should move it down. Well, I can talk to you for a little while. We're not in any rush. I can't seem to get my creative juices. My brain is sort of scattered, and I have all of these projects that I want to do, but it's like I, I have half of the idea of how to do them, and then I get to a certain point, and I don't know where to go forward. That was the same with the mouse Mother and I were making. I got uh, to a certain part, and then I just couldn't figure it out. So... Um, I'm going to switch the cameras around and let's try working on this. I have my hot glue, which, which should be interesting. And I have some E6000 to help me glue these pieces together. I have some sanding, used sanding rocks. I have black paint, uh, spray paint that is supposed to go over plastic, but I don't know. I might rough this up a little bit, but let's start. Let me see. Getting the camera 
Put this one over here. Okay. Uh, let's go to that. Okie dokie. Ooh, that's some angle. Come on, buddy. There we go. You know, I had I had taken this down uh, on Christmas. I'm gonna. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get you all sick because I didn't test this out. Isn't that stupid of me? You can tell what a pro I am. Want to move this over a little bit? There we go. Okay, that's a little better. Now I just have to tighten it. I really should get a, a better camera, and but that's an investment for another day. Okay, and now let me. There we go. It's a little crooked though. It looks a little. Why is it looking a little crooked? There. Okay. So let's start. The first thing I have to do is move my coffee to a safe place and open up these things. Coffee, you got your first cup of coffee. That's good, sweetheart. We all need our coffee. We, are we going to, I should maybe have a di more diction things today on how to say things because I don't know. Just have to have a New York accent. I don't know what's wrong with everybody. Ooh, this one's going to be interesting. It's got those little tabby things. Okay. We'll figure it out. They come out fast and furious. I know. My mouth, it's, sometimes it gets so crowded up in my brain I with ideas that I have. I have to write them down. Um, because, and then sometimes I have absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing. And it's, uh, I mean, there's a lot of things I wanted to do. I was talking to, um, some, I was talking to Joanne yesterday and I was saying, and Barbara, I think, I don't even know who I, was, I yeah, I think, um, what I really love to do but i would have to be commissioned for it because i wouldn't want to do all of this and not have anybody buy it or maybe i should just do it in the heck if somebody buys it because i really 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 want to do it is um i wanted to make like uh, an ebenezer scrooge mouse and the entire cast of the christmas carol Oh, that's going to be interesting. The entire cast of the Christmas Carol. Good morning, Cynthia. How are you, sweetie? Merry, merry, and a wonderful. <sighs> yeah, well, the, the thing is about that, Olivia, if I sold it, uh, it's going to be sort of on the expensive side. And I would have to sell it at a, as a set because who would want a Jacob Marley ghost? You know, like... There, there would be no reason to have the ghost of Christmas past if you didn't buy the whole thing. Um, but I decided that I have so many half projects <clears throat> I started that um, that's good, Cynthia. There's so many projects I have started, so maybe I should try to finish some of these half projects like this watch i never started it but i got the supplies for it so i'm just thinking it would be a good idea if i just finished all of these things that were started and then just go forth and, and see if i can get that done <clears throat> Really? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I already did this one. Oh, but the phone came out. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I have my Etsy shop. There's about 18, 19, I think, pieces in there that hasn't sold that I've put up. So, yeah, there's. I have quite uh, quite a few pieces, and some of them have been there for a while. And um, I have, like, uh, this aqua mermaid. I call it uh, Serena Day. What is it, Serena Day Inferno? The... The mermaid from hell because she was really tough to do and um how do we do it like three times i don't think i'm going to use this little one i don't know let's see no, i think it just might be too much let's see if i can get these to to do i have to do it like this we'll figure it out yeah so um i have her she didn't she hasn't sold and some other pieces so yeah there's quite a bit that um hasn't sold which let me see i'm gonna um use e6000 and hot glue so i can work on it I figured uh, this gave me a little bit of an edge there. So let's see what we can do in this mess over here that I've created. I have no idea what these are good for, but I'm not going to toss them out yet. Nor these. We'll figure out something for them sooner or later, or I will toss them. Let me just get organized. Here comes the glue I can't stand. Icky, icky, icky. I should have left a little room for the hot glue. I keep forgetting the hot glue. I need room for the hot glue. Well, we have some areas for the hot glue. I don't know. As long as this, the most important thing is for this to, to stick. And I, you know, I know people say fabric tack has a smell, but this thing is, is absolutely horrendous. I do not like E6000. Okay, so let's see if we can do this without burning myself. This is always an interesting little feat. I had to get a new one of these, but you know, um, the tip totally came off on my old one. And just going to put some hot glue around the edges. And let's get it down. Oops, that was left hand shakes a little. That's okay. Joanne, hi, sweetie. Um, I was telling the ah, see, shiitake mushrooms. <sighs> I was telling the ladies I was talking to you last night, and I just am not motivated, so I just decided to um, do something that I'm not even sure how far I'm going to get because I got to a certain point. Ow, ow, ow. See, I hate hot glue. I got, I got to a certain point of what I wanted to do, and then I don't know how to go further. But we will thumper. We'll figure it out. Well, this is on here pretty tight. Now, all of this is going to get painted or covered with um, ribbon and then painted. So I'm not really too concerned if 
this is not exactly 100% neat because it will be covered. You won't be, what I'm just trying to do is make sure it's all lined up. And that hot glue really grabbed. Um, so it will give the E6000 time to do its work. This also burnt my finger, but that's okay. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Where is that? I hate that. I hate that stuff. Okay. So this is my next one. And do I, where's the, okay. I want to put all of them on that. I'm trying to keep all of these things on one side because I'm going to fill it in. Okay, does it line up? Well, this is going to be a tight lineup, but let's see what we can do. Let's see. Usually I try to do all of the, um, you know what, hold on, the trials and tribulations off camera just to make sure they're going to work. I'm just roughing up this gold. Well, I have this stuff, um, it's called, first I'm going to like to try to take the shine off of it. Um, it's, let me go get it for you. Hold on. I've been using this product a lot. It's, um, also bonds to plastic, wood, metal, plastic, and more. The 2X, um, I found that that's worked very well for me. Now, I haven't used it on anything that has high traffic or a lot of use, I should say, um, before. What I've used it on, it's been darn good. I've used it on mostly on glass. Like, you know how you always buy, well, I don't know if everybody always this is not doing a darn thing. Um, you buy glass candlesticks from the Dollar Tree, and you change the color, and you want, uh, and you want to paint them all different colors and stuff. Um, I've always I've used that with good results, but then oh, I'm shaking up the screen. But then I don't. The things that I use it with do not get a lot of. You know, they're usually decorative pieces. But if you were going to use the piece that you painted, I don't know how durable it is. Well, the reason why um, I'm sanding it a little bit is just to try to get some of the shiny off of it. Because what I might be doing, which is an, another thing that um, might help, is I might be either putting paper clay on these edges or I might be gluing ribbon to these edges. And once you glue ribbon, um, even if it has holes in it, that would uh, make whatever you paint stay on here better. I have, see, that's why I was saying I've done half of this and I haven't figured out the rest is I don't know how I'm decorating this yet, but I'm just putting it together. <laughs> What the heck at this point? But that's um, that's what I do also with a lot of uh, a lot of metal pieces. Is, is if I glue ribbon on it or some uh, even if it's like just the netting, and then spray it with this spray paint, it holds it. It holds the paint on it better, I think. Anyway, but we will see. Uh, eh. Eh, not doing this right. I don't care. Uh, I want to leave some room for hot glue. Or I think I can just put hot glue right on top of this. Icky, icky. I hate this glue. I hate this glue. Okay. Oh. I'd so much prefer fabric tack, the smell of fabric tack over this thing. What is this? Oh. Let's see if we can try it again without burning me. Come on. I'm just putting it right over the 6,000 because I didn't leave myself a lot of room. 
I just want to tack it in a few places. I know the glue smudged out. I know it's smudged out. That's okay right now. Uh, did I just burn myself? With <clears throat> I'm going to be shiitake mushroom. Oh, gosh, that thing is on and it's not moving. Okay. Well, that worked. Made of thin metal. Tried sanding it. Well, it didn't work out. Tried it on a lantern made of thin metal. Um, if you put some... Good morning. Hey, Martha. Good morning. If you put some... Oh, you're there. I'm sorry. Here you go. Hey, Martha, how you doing? Good morning. But put it on yourself. I just got up. Okay. Can't you tell? Bad I, head. I didn't even look at you. Okay. There you go. Um, Good morning, everyone. If you, um, if you put the ribbon on it or the fabric, it, it might work. I'm sorry, I was right in the middle. I've been squirreling so much recently, Martha. I'm trying to finish one thought. Hi, how are you on? I'm I good, but what are you making? I'm going to try to make a mantle clock. I'll show you in a second. I just got to oh, finish. Nice. It. It's not straight. These are dollar store frames. Okay. And here is a cookie tin that um, I took off the back. And this had some clear acetate or thick acetate with the decoration on it, but I thought it would be a pretty clock face. So I'm going to do that. But we have some work to do. We have some prep work to do. So that's what I'm trying to get here done now. Sort of going it. I was telling the ladies that um, I'm really having tr uh, trouble being motivated. Or Me too. You too? Okay, good. Me too. Or, I've got to get in there and work on that uh, diorama today. Oh, I haven't seen it. How far has it gone? I want to see it. I haven't gone very far, no. Oh, okay. Well, I got in there and I made uh, ferns and flowers and trees, but other than that, I ain't went nowhere else. Well, Martha, get up, get your coffee, and get in there. I can't wait to see it. Or bring it over here. I haven't seen it in a while. I, I'd love to see it. Later. Much later. Well, I, I'm not going to be on for that much of a time. <laughs> well, I'm not going to bring it all in here, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you on so early, woman? Well, I'll tell you. This is when I'm usually my most creative and I have my most patience. I was mentioning that on the last live stream. And um, I usually sit here and craft. Now, when I go to work, I'm not, obviously, I'm not at work. That's, be, you know, we, that's sort oh, of. Oh, you're not a bad hooky. No, I have the week off. Now, these spaces that are here, I can fill with either paper clay. Or I can, um, I have a two-part, uh, it's called this epoxy sculpt, I think it is. It's a two-part uh, mixture that it feels like almost like polymer clay. But once you put it in someplace, it dries like a rock. And it's air-dried, so you don't have to worry about um, putting it in the oven because I can't put this in the oven. Now, this one might be a little tricky. So, so I'm um, sorry. I, I think I was trying to finish um, what I was saying, was I? I'm off this week, and I'm always very I'm a lot more creative in the morning. When I wake up, I usually come straight down here, and but this time I did take a shower just because I didn't want anybody to smell me because I was stinky. And oh, um, bad for smell of vision. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I think I'm gonna put this on here so i don't kill myself let's try it this way let's let's be a little smart and try it this way get that up 
And I just said, you know what? And I was talking to Joanne about it. I have trouble. I've been having trouble being motivated to do anything. I've been having trouble getting my brain to like even concentrate. And that's because there's too many ideas there because like with the mouse, I got this far. I got this far. I know what I'm doing, but I, I'm not sure how I'm going to decorate it. And so I kept saying, well, figure it out before you, you know, figure it out before you start it. And I'm like, I'm not, I don't think I am going to figure it out. So if I get it to this point, at least I have something hey. to start with. Right. You know, um, because I'm not sure. There we go. We made a tiered shelf. So now. All right. Nikon says, so I have oh. to make do with what the little I have at hand right now, but the little I have in front of me doesn't give me any inspiration. Well, you know what? That's true. <laughs> that. That's true, too. Well, I've got a lot of inspiration pieces. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't know. I really wanted to get in there and work on it yesterday, and it's like, eh, bah humbug. Oh, I just seen, I just had a good, I know, it's, it's, I have a lot of things I want to do, but then again, they're all half complete, or I don't know where to go, but this was just something I was going to start gluing this onto here, and that would have been a big mistake, because I have to get, are you doing a mouse fur in that? No, no, I'm not it's doing any clock clock. That one. This one's just going to be, this is going to be my mantle clock. Um, I have to get the outline of pieces because, see, now this is where we went. This is the reason why I was not thinking of it, because I have to get the outline of this because I have to cut cardboard to fit this and I have to get I, the outline of this and this. Okay. So you know what? We will do that. And if we move on to something else, we'll move on to something else. <laughs> I felt like start my problem is too much food and TV. You know what, Joanne? That's true too. I need chaos to make stuff. Yep. I, well, I got this far. Look at that. <laughs> How long did that take me? A whole half an hour. Okay. Come on. I know you'll stay down. I've just been pulling you up. All right. I have been making me a triple wrap bracelet. Ooh. Not quite done, but. Uh, somewhat of something I'm working on. What colors? Uh, you're, okay, so it's copper, black, hot pink, lime yellow, or lime green, purple, orange, yellow, uh, shiny teal. Wow. White. Yeah, kind of neon colors. I don't know. Something bright and cheery for summer and spring. Do you have it there? Yeah. You want me to switch over so people can no. see? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. All good. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. So now what I have to do is get some paper because I have to make patterns for that before I start putting it anywhere. So I'm going to get some paper. Ow. I'm going to fall and get some paper. Okay. And some pencils. You see, when you when you get the pattern of the clock face and you print it. And I have to make it the same size as this. Um, this is the one I have to do. I have to cut out cardboard. Or everyone calls it chipboard now. 
we used to call it cardboard. It was, you know, what it, whatever. Um, so I have to have the circle as a pattern to cut it out. How did you cut the bottom of it out? I used the can opener. Good girl. Smart thinking there. It was, you know, every once in a while. Okay, so now this would be the size of the cardboard that I would cut out to paste my clock face on to put it in here. But, now let's see. Let me see if I'm getting this. But, I also, I'm going to have to, I have a piece of, I bought, that's, that's what I should show you guys. Hold on a second. Let's hope I don't break it. Oh, Lordy B. It's still dirty, but I was able to buy online. Oh, nice. A piece of convex. I think convex. That and is glass, right? That in there. Yeah, it is. It's glass. So that's going to fit in there. And I mean, it, this piece wasn't uh, here. Are your chinny chin chin? Yeah. Well, I didn't want it too. I didn't want it too big because then it wouldn't fit in the. Right. Circle. Right. It, it was really hard to get like the exact <laughs> measurement. And um, but I I bought the glass on eBay. eBay, they have it because and so I was like, okay, we can do that. So now I'm gonna glue that in. Not now. And I have to cut foam pieces, right? Now, wait, I just got to think. Because I might have to cut pieces. To set the clock in? To set. Well, yeah, because I don't want, yeah. You know what? I'm just going to get the measurement. It will not hurt anything for me to get the measurement of this circle. And that see. one, that would be an excellent thing to have a. Just so I have a guide. For me to think. Okay. Well, let me get some more pieces of paper. To have a stencil. Yes, that's what it is, a stencil. Thank you. Well, I had to think. Oh, this E6000 is going to kill me. So this is, this one is the back piece. That'll be the back because I have to end four clock face. I'll put this four clock face. I know what this is. Okay. Now for, so then if I have to fudge this, at least I have it. Let me go here. <coughs> How was everybody's Christmas? Too much food and too much cheer. Well, what did you get for Christmas, June? I got a um, a vase vase, a pitcher that matches my china. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's not a piece I see often enough. And that's, a, that's a whole story inside of clock rim. Um, what was I going to say? I have... It's, it's called Baroness White, and it's German China, and I fell in love with it years and years and years ago. I never got any for um, my wedding or anything like that. Oops, there goes the phone. I never got anything for my wedding because I, I didn't have a big wedding. I had a very small wedding. And, oh, that's 1-800-SERVICE. I'm just going to have to let it. And maybe I can. Morning, Barbara Higgins. Hey, Barbara. So I don't hear it down here. Um. So I started to buy this for myself 
and some pieces. So I didn't buy like sets. I bought like just the dinner plates and the soup plates. And then I got some of the serving pieces. So I was just looking to buy a soup tureen that matched it. But then I decided no. But then when I, when I was on eBay, no, Etsy, I was just looking. And all of a sudden they have this really pretty picture that's, you know, about this big. And um, I, when I make uh, Thanksgiving or any meal and I make gravy, I, I like to have the gravy in a pitcher, but none of the ones that I had, they were either too big or too small. So this was the perfect thing. So the kids bought it for me. And um, what happened was it was from Etsy and the lady shipped something right away. So I said, Megan, open it up because one of the things I hate to do is open presents. And I've been telling, hi, did I say good morning to Barbara? Good morning, Barbara. Yes, you did. You did? Okay. See, I'm squirreling. Hi, sweetie. Um, I hate opening presents. I, I just, I had this thing and I didn't want to open this present on Christmas morning and be disappointed. So I asked my daughter to open it up and just check it out to make sure it wasn't broken. Right. And she opened it up and she said, hmm. Mom, it's very pretty, but it's not the same color as the rest because it's just white, but there's different whites and you can tell the difference. She said, it's not the same color white and the design looks a little different. And I'm like, oh, so because I wasn't going to I wasn't going to look at it. Megan was just going to look at it and then I would open it on Christmas morning. So I said, something's wrong. If Megan has, you know, because Megan has a, a really good eye. So I came home. And I said, let me look at it. And it was the wrong picture. She sent me the wrong picture. So I was like, oh, gosh. So I contacted her right away. And she was very apologetic. And like two days later, she had to find it. And I was like, oh, gosh, what if she can't find it? What if she sent it to somebody else instead of this thing that I got? Which is very pretty. The picture she sent me is very pretty, but it doesn't match the set. Right. So all of a sudden, like, she didn't answer me. Like, she got back to me really fast, and we had a couple of emails back and forth, but then she didn't answer me. And then all of a sudden on Monday, like the following Monday, I got notif notified that something else was shipping to me. So I was like, that's great. It only took a couple of days to get it the first time. We'll have it in plenty of time of Christmas to see if it's broken, whatever, because this is all going on at the beginning of December. Well, that thing got caught. Um, you know, I don't know if anybody else knows the the – Postal service. Um, oh, God. I'm not going to be able to say your name, but hi, Fluiza. I hope I said that right. Hi, sweetie. Um, uh, is everybody calling her Liz? Is that? Is yeah, that's you? what she put down, Liz. Oh, hi, Liz. How are you? Hi, Liz. <coughs> okay. Hi, June. From hi, Liz. Hi, sweetie. So it came. So it was it. It got so messed up in the post office because I guess they had so many packages and, and they're being affected by the current pandemic that we're having that it didn't get to me until the day after Christmas. I'm still waiting on a package for three presents. Three, pre see? Okay. Yeah, they caught, they all caught the disease. I'm sorry. Yes, it was a lot of what they were saying because people's Christmas cards were held up in the mail and they couldn't even send out their Christmas cards, even though they opened them up. They ordered them in early December or late November. It just was a mess. And I feel really bad, you know. So what could you say to them? And I didn't even know what to do. Like, I could go to my po post office and say, where is this package? But they're going to tell me what it says on the um you know, what, what do you call that when you're looking up a package? On your tracing. It, it's going to tell me the same thing. It's stuck in Newark. So then it went from Newark to the metro service area that dispenses um, our stuff out to the island. It got there on Christmas Eve. And I'm like, oh, maybe they'll get it to me. Or like the night before, like early in the morning. And sometimes they're really quick. But no, it didn't happen. It happened uh, the next day. Right. So delayed in handling yes waiting on two presents see joanne what happened to you in a post office see it's it was really very tough this year for them and i understand you can only do what you can do i mean when you're out there working and half of your crew is sick um what what do you you know what could you do yeah well like mine is supposed to be i think probably stuck in detroit but michiganders here are lazy oh lazy very lazy. 
Yeah. So yeah, they're they're saying they're not working because of the demic, but there's people that I don't know. I don't know. I, I you know, um my father was a postman. He was the one who used to sort the mail. So I always have a little bit of a thing in my heart for them because of my dad. You know. Make sure your circle on the inside's right too. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to go like under the rim, you know, because there's a little ledge under the rim. I don't know, like can you see the little ledge here? There's a ledge here. So when I'm doing that, I'm trying to go under because that might right. be important. Right. Joanne says orders I sent took almost two weeks to arrive. See? Christmas Eve. Look at that. Postcards. It's right. inside. Rim. Okay. All right. So I think there's no other dimensions that I really need. Well, this would be easier if I glued Hi, it. Hi, Kathleen's Crafts. Hey, Kathleen. How you doing? There was a tractor trailer truck from the United UPS wrecked. Oh, my gosh. UPS, that's horrible. North Carolina, too, and packages were all over the Oh, world. man. Driving too fast for for the conditions. It's just every, yeah, there's just so much going on. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've been homebound. My uh, power steering decided to take a crap. Really? Broke. Yeah, because there was no, there was a leak in the cooler line. Yeah. Because there was a leak, it blew the, it cracked the power steering unit. Holy moly. Yeah. How do you get that? I mean, first I don't. I have no idea. I left out of here. I went to four places with no power steering. Oh, and no. it's like, then I went to Walmart and I got me some power steering fluid. I put it in there and it ran out like 10 minutes later. So I had been homebound and uh, my friend's son come over and fixed it yesterday and the day before. Uh-huh. And uh, then Ian stopped in last night and he checked it over and he ended up putting more power steering fluid in it because it was, I went to go get me some fish and chips and it was whining. Ooh. So hopefully now, hopefully I'll have to take it for a little John around the block today, but. So they were able to, they were able to hopefully fix it we're not 100 percent sure if they fixed it or not but yeah they, they it. fixed it but he might not have just put enough fluid in it after he fixed it okay because it's got to go through the lines and everything and it just sucked up a little bit more fluid than normal okay but anyway well i hope that works i hope that your first job was at the post office i was on a college work study made minimum wage but still good yes Yes, Joanne. My father used to work at night because they used to pay people who worked at night more money than they paid people who worked during the day. So for the longest time, until my father really went over to days, I never really got to see my dad because he was always sleeping. You know, you always, shh, your father's sleeping because we would be up during the day and he, would, of course, would be trying to sleep so he could go to work at night. And I remember many holidays, and I forgot how they figured it out. No, this is how they did it. They would give them Christmas Eve off because that was like their Christmas holiday. But every like a Christmas night, he would have to go to work. So he was always exhausted, the poor guy, you know, the poor man, um, because he would be up during the day to have the Christmas fest, you know, open the presents, have food, but then he'd have to go up out that night it was just a mess it was really hard but you know he he supported all of us so i tried getting a job at the post office and back in the day you had to take a certain test for this post office work yes i guess i passed it with flying colors but 
instead of putting working outside, I put worked inside. So that's why I didn't get the job, I guess. Ah, as a ma my father was a mail sorter. Yeah, he used to sort the mail. He was not a postal delivery man. He used to go into Manhattan. We lived in Queens. And he worked in a post office in Manhattan. It was Lenox Hill, wherever that is. And um, he used to uh, sort mail. And he used to have, I forgot what kind of a test it was called, but he would have like hundreds and hundreds of these little white postcards that he would have to know from just the address what area of the city it belonged in um, because he had to keep sorting quickly. So he used to be studying. I remember seeing him with all these white cards studying it so that he would pass the exam. Yeah. You know, because like um, I think higher, if you go, let's see if I can remember. Fifth Avenue is the avenue that defines uh, Fifth Avenue goes north and south. And all of the addresses north of Fifth Avenue start with like hundreds, I think. You know, there'll be like 101 is the first address. And all of the um, addresses south of Fifth Avenue are just regular ones, like one, two, three, four. Oh, so I am getting everybody... Um, every spam call in the world this morning. Nice. Uh, mine usually starts probably tomorrow. Wednesdays, the phone will never not stop. Yeah, well, it's spam day today. Okay, well, that's two so far. Is today Tuesday? Yes, ma'am. Mm. I Oh, they, they called back because they didn't have enough time. Oh, there's another one. Who is this? Spam. Oh, that's three. Oh, they're really trying to get me. Isn't that nice? I'm so popular. <laughs> I am not a fussy cutter. Just so that everybody knows. It's not one of my, I mean, I can do it, I think. Not a talent that I would say I possess. In well, you're doing mighty good at it. <laughs> well, I'm just taking my time. I mean, I can cut. It's just not something I do a lot of. All right. So let me finish this little cut and then talk to everybody because I haven't talked to Barbara. I haven't talked to Liz and Liz is new. Let's see what's going on. Yes. Yes. Joanne, that's what it was. The sword is okay. So Liz, if you're still here, hi, welcome. What kind of crafting do you do or, or Martha, do you know Liz? No, I have not seen her before. Oh, well, I'm so glad she came in. Welcome. I have to get some. I have to get some black paper. That I recall, anyway. I don't know. I just got up. Okay. Don't ask me. I will never tell a lie. <laughs> now this is going to be the fun one. I'm going to choke a little pup this morning. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. You're with um, Molly. That cute thing that she is. Why is this Why is this bent funny? Okay. Did it warp on me? I can't keep it near the window. I think it's warping. Okay. All right. So let me see. If, I'm, if I do this correctly, would I be able to use... Yes. Okay. Instead of wasting all of my fancy chipboard that's really cardboard... She's mean. Aw. She's such a cute little thing. Neekin's lurking and listening. Okay. Ah. So, Martha, I was thinking, I'm going to, I don't know if you, 
if you're up to it, but I mean, I could just do it and you could always rewatch it. I'm trying to figure out how to go forward with that mouse that um, the evil mouse I want to do, and you're doing a pretty mouse. Um, so I figured if I get the sleeves done, once we see how to do the sleeves, and then the bodice, you pretty much know how to do the cape, right? That you're uh, that you're thinking of. I can pretty much figure out. Okay, so I'm gonna do the sleeves on mine. If I can, that's the the next thing. Once I get to a point where I can't continue on this anymore, uh huh, I'm making a mess out of this. I'm gonna do the sleeve on mine, and that. That's that. And then the bodice we could figure out. And then you can, you know, for the cape, you just add add the sleeves to. The puppy broke one of her angels. <gasps> Although she wrote angles, but angels. Oh, no. Can you glue it back together? Aw. I sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Has he come back from the doctor yet, Barbara? Oh, oh my hot glue is still on. Let me turn you off, you little stinker. Burnt me twice, so three times this morning. You got me good. How much I love hot glue. I no, woke no. up to a dream. I had a dream. Oh my god. Okay, Barbara, let us know what happened in your dream. Um, friends of mine, Buffalo and Renee. It was really weird. He says, well, we're going to move into another house. So I packed all my shit up, his shit up. We moved into the house and walked through this little tiny house. And it had yellow kitchen and really old, old cupboards. And it was really neat. And he's like looking at me weird. And it's like, oh, crap. He's married to Renee. <laughs> oh. And it's like, well, okay, I gotta find me a place to live. And then I woke up. Wow. Said the house was weird. Would it, would you have liked like was anything in there that you would No, it wasn't the house was weird. It was weird. That I had that dream. No, no, no. I know that. It's just I thought. No. Well, I had a dream that there was a, I think it was a dream, I'm hoping, um, that there was this big spider on the wall and I kept ignoring it. And then finally I looked at it and I realized it was a spider and I don't know what I did with it after that. But then. Like a day or two later, I came down here, and we had another one of them cricket spiders down here, which um, I got the broom, you know, the jumpy ones, which I can't stand. I got the broom, and I took very good care of that one. Smacked that thing about five or six times yelling and cursing, because you got to yell and curse while you're smacking a spider that big. I mean, I don't know why I need the audio effects on the whole thing. I mean, I could just smacking the yeah, it head. turns you into like a ninja yeah is that what it is because it's yeah. like i really i don't enjoy killing things except for flies and um and well fleas you know when you had that kind of a thing not that i enjoy killing them i don't enjoy killing things but i will not have a cricket spider in my house i can't stand it i don't like jumping spiders ours are black with a little white dot on their ass Ooh, ours are big with like really. Is this? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Well, you just keep yours to yourself. I don't want. I don't want yeah, none of Not really. Um, ours got long legs and jump. They're big. They're not like little things. They're not little spiders. They're big, big guys. Oh no, thanks. Yeah.
I'm not trying to go through this all at one pass because it just never works. If I was going on a straight cut, that would be different. But I, you know. Yeah, June and Ninja. Yeah. June saying all sorts of words she shouldn't be saying around the holidays. That's what June was. <laughs> whack, whack, whack. Shiitake mushrooms. Uh, some other words. So even if my kids did not know why they were hearing something go whack, whack, whack by the amount of cursing, they figured it out. All right, is, all right, I need to get a new blade on this. This is sharp, but not sharp. Does anybody know if... I don't think Michael has it, but if Hobby Lobby has 12 by 12 chipboard. Ladies, you got to answer that. I need one piece of freaking chipboard, 12 by 12. Just one piece. <laughs> I look good as a ninja. It's got a mask on. All I've been doing is wearing my mask, even inside the house sometimes, because my son keeps trying to get exposed. I guess what I really could do. Why don't you make it? Glue two pieces together. Mm -hmm. And then just glue paper on top and bottom. Right. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Mine. So, Barbara, can you fix? Oh, yeah, you think so. Okay. You think you can fix the angel? Well, I tell you, this uh, if it's like porcelain or something, the C6000, I, I don't know. Does that work on it? Or you can buy like this two-part epoxy at a hardware store. Let me see. Do I have any just to show you? Hold on. You're better off to actually buy, like, glass glue. But two-part epoxy will work. E6000 will work, but use very small, small amounts. See, when I, when I really need something, um, I get this. When I, and... It bonds metal, glass, fiberglass, tile, pottery, wood, most plastics, and more. Right. This is another thing that you take it out. You, um, you get this thing out first. Hold on, I can. Yeah. Squeeze uh, out the exact amount, and then you mix it together, and then it's a really a strong. Wooden, you have like little wooden popsicle sticks that they give you one, but. I don't use all of it at one time. And this little thing up here is the cover, the cap that goes on top of these two things once you break this piece off. And um, the, what I always thought was cool is the cap, one of these things has like a little piece of plastic on the side so that you can only put the cap on the same way all all right. the time because it's got a little hole in the cap so it fits on so you don't put the cap on the wrong way and actually glue it to the, the thing. Because if it had some of this on it and then it mixes with that, it'll set. So yeah, but this I find works really well. I don't, this is from our hardware store. It's not from Home Depot. Um, but maybe you can find something in your hardware store or I'm sure Home Depot has a ton of this type of stuff, you know? So, okay onwards and upwards cutting the back of this <clears throat> so this is what always takes so long you know to do for me anyway because i don't have one of them circle cutters or a cricket machine nor would i want one really because again i mean it does cricket machines do really pretty work but what would i do with it you know i'm not I was going to make a circle cutter. Circle yeah. cutters are good. But the amount, you know me, the amount of times I do this, it would just be a waste. Right. 
So I have. And you're not one to have supplies. Nope. I do. If I could, if this will cut the certain the amount of times I cut a circle, I, how often do I cut circles? I mean, I'm going to be cutting lots of circles for this thing. But if, how that, many uh, wall clots you plan on making? This is it. This is mine. Bye, Kathleen. Have a good day. Bye. Bye, Kathleen. Glad you came in. Have fun. Kathleen was cute. She um she did a little video of her Christmas tree and there was my snowman there. That was nice. Uh, I watched a little video. So you have your bracelet that's for the summer in pretty colors. Um and you have your Northern, like your northern, um, what are you calling your diorama? Northern exposure. Northern exposure. I thought so. Your northern exposure. And <laughs> now you, last I had saw, you were putting the air dry clay on the base of it. Yeah. I got that all on there and I modge podged all over that. Nice. I have since then glued rocks on it. Ooh. -hoo. And that's as far as I've gotten. I've got to paint it. Um, yeah. There's a lot of, I really need to do to it today. You said, though, you have trees. and I made trees, and I made ferns, and I made wildflowers. What did you make them out of, the ferns and the wildflowers? The ferns are actually made out of ferns. <laughs> oh, okay. And the, the, and that, the fern, that fake fern that I bought at the dollar store up north, the miniature. Uh huh. I tell you what, I wish I'd have bought four or five of them babies. So next time, if I ever see another one like that, I'm going to buy a couple of them. But yeah, I just cut all the little fern pieces off of it and glued them all onto a some um oh. What do you call it? Wire for making corsages and stuff. Nice. And the flowers? And the flowers I made. I used a corner punch. Uh-huh. Kind of like I did with the miniature pine cones. Okay. And glued them on and... Actually, I glued a bead onto the wire, and then uh -huh. I glued the petals around. Yeah. I don't even remember what I did for the leaves. What color are the flowers? White. Pretty. The ones that we got up north that I really, really like is little white flowers, and they're so pretty. And you have your moose and your bear. Yeah. And you're going to make a stream, right? Did, yeah, there's a stream in it. Did you do this? I know you were like carving out, I think, the stream, but you didn't. Did you pour the epoxy yet? No. Okay. That's what I said. It's as I got did, the hodge podge on, and that's as far as it's got. Rocks. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that cut you, little devil. Oof. Now I know a circle cutter would have did this faster, but yeah. Well, if you got a hole all the way around it, you should be able to take a scissors and cut right through the rest of it. Yeah. I should, because there's only one layer left. Yeah. Pretty much. Did I get oh I got through. Hey, look at that. Okay. Let's see if this will work. These scissors aren't the best either. I bought this black um what now? I'm gonna just go around. 
I bought this black stuff for when I was doing, remember back, back, way back when, when we did, um, when Nikki had that, that challenge, um, ah, that ballerina challenge, which, what was that? That ballerina thing? Oh, I can't remember. See, this is how bad. The black swan. There we go. The brain kicked in. The black swan challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm talking years ago now. So I had this card stock. And I guess I put it away someplace because, again, how often do I use cardstock? And then um, a couple of months ago, I found it. So there's hope to find my checkbook just wet still, I'm telling you. You can't find your checkbook. No, I've lost that for months, but I had other checks. It's in the house somewhere, or I threw it out, one or the other. But, no, I couldn't find my checkbook. Um. I never take my checkbook out because I never use it outside. If I ever need, if I need a check for anything, which why would you need a check for anything right now except to pay bills? But I have my credit card and my debit card, so I never take my checkbook out. And um, so, and I always put it back in the same place. But there was a time there where there was a lot, a lot of confusion going on here. So who knows? And I know that I took it up from where I usually write my checks right here or do my bills right here because my computer's here. And I don't pay most of my bills with check. I just do transfers um, from my account to pay my bills. And um, I had it upstairs. And who knows? You know, I get crazy. I when you get crazy and distracted, I could have threw the darn thing out, or I put it someplace, saying, "Okay, here's the safe." You know, just plopped it somewhere, and I haven't found it. But I know it's not outside of the house because I never take it out with me. Ta-da! That only took about. Hey, she got it cut out. Now let's hope it fits. Okay. Why doesn't it fit? Right. This was a circle, isn't it? Oh, okay. It's just that this. Oh, this this is gonna freak me out. Well, it fits in there pretty good, but I'm still seeing. Still seeing light. Can you see it? There's still yeah. light coming through. What the? Oh, not everything's perfectly round. <laughs> <laughs> does it fit in there perfectly all the way to the bottom yeah it does it's just i gotta squeeze the tin in a little for it to fit right why would that happen now it fits in there snug it's no it's a little too tight on the one end you might have to trim it down just a hair yeah but there's a hole here there's, you could, I don't know if you could see. Hold on, let's see. See the light? Yeah. So there's a hole there, but it's tight everywhere else except for here and there. Hmm. Not everything's perfect, honey. Yeah, but I took the I took the thing from here, so it should have. Hey, Vanessa. Hi. Hi, hi, Vanessa. How are you? <sighs> okay. Yeah, even this isn't nice. Well, you know what? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to fudge. Is what we're going to do. This might need, hold on. This might need, there's a little... Thing here where the two pieces meet so let's see if I did a little something there if it would fit better I just put a little notch in this oh come on <sighs> Are you typing or are you pounding? I am typing. Oh, okay. You are typing with intent. Eeky. Yeah. Where'd it go? Oh. Would that make it fit better? Okay. 
Oh, I see I'm going to be cutting circles out a lot. Or I'm going to fudge it one or the other. I always attack the keys. I attack keys when there's something important to be said. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Mamma mia. Okay, is that what you're typing or are you just waking up and that's what you're saying? I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I'm going to re-put my hair back into a ponytail. That's step one. Did you have your, that's did right. you have your morning tea or coffee or whatever you drink? Um, I have to make my tea. It's in the refrigerator, but I got to make it. But I'm having soda pop right now. Okay. Eek. I got my medicine taken. This is good. Hair and ponytail medicine taken. Yep. You know, you know what? Okay. <laughs> I do not like, here, let me show you. I do not like this. Come on. I do not like that. Nope. It takes me like two hours to wake up in the morning. Does it? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, as soon as I have my coffee, uh, and that usually is first thing. All right. This is far too much to fudge. Far too much to fudge. I could but I'm not happy with it. So we're going to have to do this whole darn thing all over again. No, just yeah. trim off a little bit where it sticks. No, I need to add. I can't trim. I need to add. Why do you need to add? Here we go. Well, I mean, there's something. I know that you got light through it, but isn't there something that you could put behind it, like air dry clay? Yes, I could. But then it's not perfect. Well, if it painted black, it would be. Mm. I just don't understand why it did that. Okay, where is this? So it's just because it, it's too tight in other areas. But the, I can't even see anymore. The heck. But that's the way it should be. It should be tight. Okay. So let's try this. What I would do is put it back in there. Uh-huh. Standing. Very good. Very good idea. Very good. I was going to say, put it back in there, mark a little pencil line of where it sticks, and then trim off that little edge. I just really need, if, we're, if it's we're going to be serious about this, I just need one to be perfect because I'm going to enlarge in my clap face to go on it. But then I'm trying to think if I'm putting, okay, yeah, this is the thing. Let's get this in here somehow. Okay. The clock face can only be a little bit bigger than this circle right here because you're not really going to see it if it's any bigger than that. So, and when I had that that um, clock that I bought, and I may I we the one that um that used to go back and forth, I put the excuse me the mice on. When I took it apart, they had foam. Okay, I don't know if anybody can see in here. I'm gonna. How do I? Okay, good. You can see it. They had like a foam strip. That went around here that right. kept the back piece from coming all the way to the front. Right. Okay. So 
I am going to have to do bye, the Cynthia. Phone. Okay, bye, Cynthia. Glad you came. She always attacks. I'm sorry. I have missed every. She always attacks the keys. Oh, okay. That was with you typing. Okay. So this is going to work if I do that because I got, because no one's going to see it because I'm going to be putting the foam or something similar to foam around here to keep the clock face from going all the way to the front of this. There's got to be something there that stops it. Now, if I wanted to push it, well, I don't want to push it that much. Hold on. Where's that little thing I did? Uh, rethinking. Hold on. If I push this all the way there, okay. Let's see. Come on, buddy. You, oh, that fits nicely. Okay. So that fits where I might not even have to do the foam. I just have to be careful of how big the shank is on the clock mechanism that I buy. Because this goes right into that little groove. There's a little groove here. So this fits right there. And can't go it can't go any further. So you can't, I'm pushing it, it can't go any further. But let's get it, let's get a little bit. I have okay, I have a half of an inch between the clock face and this. So I have to make sure that my, the shank I buy is not bigger than a half an inch. I do have room because the glass is convex, but I don't know how good that would look. Okay. I mean, this is doable. This is doable. And then there'll just be the clock piece that you put the battery in will be here. I mean, it's pretty far it's pretty far up there, so this is a lot of empty space, but I could do something else for the back. I'm not going to worry about the back right now. <sighs> yeah, I could do this. I could live with this, I think. And then you won't see anything because, again, even though... Even though this can't go forward, you don't, and no one is going to be able to push it back because of the clock, the, the glass that's here. You should put things on here, like little blocks, like the one that I got, that'll hold this into place. Right. Okay. So this will work. I mean, I might sand it down a little bit more and see, but this will work because you won't see any light. Hold on. You might see a little light coming through, but we can we can fig you know figure that out. See, you can't see the light coming through there, but when it's really tight, oh. well, you could just put a piece of chipboard on the back of it, and you won't see no light. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this can work for right now. I may redo it, but I'm not going to redo it now. Okay. So much, and this, I cut this out pretty darn good, except for me. Now, what happened over there, see? Unless it's just. You went inside the lines. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we can always do round two, because that's the problem. But I didn't go inside the line over here. So this is not a perfect circle. Okay, that's okay. Somehow or another I missed that. I don't know how. Okay. Well, we can always do another one. Alrighty. So now we have to figure out let's see. What do we want to do on the outside of this? Are you making this clock for yourself? Yep. Mm -hmm. All yeah. Righty. Now we know where we're going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not. This is not for anybody. This is for me. 
Now, what I am going to do, just to, because I'm not sure I should attach this just yet, is I'm going to put some of that epoxy clay that I was telling everybody about in this, in this area here. And sculpt, like once this is firmly on, I could use more epoxy clay to sculpt it so that this this is more attached to this by just talk about some slow-mo wow so that it's more attached to this you know fill in like make it like a little curvy and go from here to here so that'll so that'll take care of this space this empty space right in here and do that. Okay. I also decided not to spray paint because I'm going to use spray paint on this, not to spray paint it until I figure out everything else that I want to do. All right. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's get. Oh, I also have this, this, this plastic wood, but this doesn't work as well as the. It's, it's pink, and then it dries natural, but this doesn't work as well as the epoxy clay, the two-part epoxy sculpt. So let's get all of the gooky stuff over there. And let's see, how do we want, where did I put all of my other things? I could start doing some of this on it. Okay. Let's get out the mold. Where's my little moles? Okay. This is one of my favorites. I always use... Oh, you can't tell. Okay. This is one of my favorites. This is a pain in the neck. This is pretty, too. This one's a pain in the neck. Hmm. Would this fit around there? Let me try. Let's try with that one. Let's try. I'm just going to try to put it on this base right here. But now do I have to? Yeah, I do. Okay. Hold on. We'll get this all done in a second. And of course, I didn't get it out of the refrigerator. Right back. I think she needs a longer mold. Yeah, I do. Where is it? Oh. Yeah, but we'll piece it. You know what we're gonna do? Good. Nothing wrong with it. I'm going to do it on the side first. Try it on the side first. Now the side overhangs a little bit. All right. Where we go? Where we go? Don't you love glue? Yeah. Slow. Slowly I creep. What I need is a bigger desk. I keep my paper clay in the refrigerator um, and a plastic bag. I think it holds it better. Here I'm just trying to fill in almost like you plaster in a crack because I don't want the hole to be there. Right. So... Kind of using it like wood filler. Yep. That's good. Okay. Hold on a second. All right. There's some of this that I don't know if it was hot glue, but it's bumping out and I don't like that. So we're going to just take it off and hopefully not my finger. 
it was bumping out. So it's not like it's filling in the crack. It was, it was going to make it a ridge that I don't want because that's the only place that there would be a ridge. So you should have removed that before you put the paper clay down, June, but that's okay. Right. You know, we can do things backwards. Check all your edges. We can do things a little backwards. It doesn't matter. There we go. Yeah, baby girl. And I got Holly Mae a little tent for Christmas, and she absolutely likes it. What color? It is actually kind of a um, cheetah print. Oh, how cute. Mm -hmm. See, now this piece dried on me because it was just, I didn't put it back properly. <sighs> Probably got to warm it up with your hands, eh? Well, also trying to, I find it really hard to make this get really thin because I really don't need it to be this thick. It's not as easy to work with this for me as polymer clay. It just doesn't, it doesn't stretch out. Well, that paper clay seems to work pretty good. Yeah, I do like polymer, but I'm not going to. Barbara I, Oliver. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Bo. How are you? Yeah, I need to take pics of her, but I got to charge the phone up or the camera. I'm making Someday. a clock or trying to. A mantle clock. <laughs> Where uh, I didn't get the equipment to put it in, but this is what it's going to sort of look like when it's done. But not this color. We're going to paint it. This is just the, the processes of getting it decorated. See, that's too much, but okay. Then you just have to fight with it. I think I got a little tub of chili in the freezer. I think I'm going to get that out for dinner. Well, that sounds nice. Yeah, food. Joanne, I hope I'm motivating you to use your paper clay and your, your molds. You can see me scumfering over here. So... very first person I saw using this was um, May Larson and she was doing that paintbrush that she did. Oh my gosh, was I so impressed with that when she was using. And then I saw this on, um, uh, somebody Tracy, what's her first name? The one that we love that's no longer around. I think it works. Yeah, I'm still wondering what's happened to her. Yeah, I don't know. I've gone on a Facebook page because I was friends with well, one of her Facebook pages. I don't know what she did. I don't know if she went all to Patreon type things or if she just, I don't know. Well, I'm hoping she didn't get sick from the COVID. She sounded like she was sick when she was doing her last video or one of her last videos. And she, or she, there was a time period between one of them. I don't know. But she's still around, that I know, because she was posting on her Facebook last I looked, but that was a couple of months ago, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Her her stuff is hasn't been pulled down off of Facebook, thank goodness. I mean, off of YouTube. Uh-oh, motivation speech. I'm high. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. I'm outside, can't be in the house and smoke. Oh, okay. Come on, Joanne. Did, what message did you retract? Motivational speech? Yes, you know. I'll, hey, if I'm sitting here doing this, where I have no idea really what I'm doing, 
seriously. I have a very vague idea of what I'm doing. Everybody else can, can do something too. I'm trying to motivate Martha so she goes in there and does her northern exposure later. Oh, yeah. I'll be going in there definitely, but I'm not sure when. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could mean any time. <laughs> well, the last couple times I went in there to work on it, I was in there for 12 hours. Oh, like yeah. two or three days in a row. That that See, that, would, that wouldn't, yeah. It burnt me out. Yep, absolutely burnout for that and i have not been in there i peeped in yesterday for a minute to look at it and it's like okay and turn the light back out <laughs> uh -huh. everything was there okay yeah why is this what is the matter that i can't get glue out of this thing you know does everything decide not to work Was that was that Holly? Yeah. Oh, or your tummy because you didn't eat anything and you have soda, but we won't talk about that. Joanne says I took the molds out of the envelope that came in and put them in a the box. <laughs> <laughs> Place for them, Joanne. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? If you have cornstarch, uh, get out a paintbrush and brush them with cornstarch because I I find that these molds start getting very very dirty they pick up everything so i always after i use it i brush mine with cornstarch it keeps them a little bit cleaner okay now is there any now you said you told me something about the paper the paper clay shrinks yes it does a little bit What? Not not a lot of bits, but it does. Hey, oh, back. Hey, Christine, how are you? Is that a dig? No. Um, Barbara, I crocheted crocheted my granddaughter all kinds of dresses for a doll. Oh, okay. I saw some of your dresses. They were beautiful. And now working on gloves. The gloves are tricky. Yeah. Gloves are tricky for normal size, I would yeah. think. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm figuring is because I like to lean it down that I can only do two sides at a time is what I'm figuring. I'm trying to get it where there's contact up here and trying not to press too much on the mold because then I'm going to take out all of the decorative pieces that you just molded. But I can wait for it to dry a little bit more and then push it down some more. Ugh, this thing stinks of E6000. E6000. Oh, gosh. You know, when I was growing up, there used to be a group of boys that used to huff glue to get high. I, if this is the smell that they smelled. I don't know how they could bear to smell this to get high. I mean, I, this, thing, this stuff is absolutely horrible. And the only and I'm smelling it because I put it all over this thing trying to get it to stay together. But this stuff is the pit is really bad. Now, because this ledge is a little bit out from the back of this silver thing, it's not lying as flat as it could be. But if I pull it down lower, then the edge of the mold will go over the edge of this, and I don't want to do that. So we're just gonna have it like a little crooked. I'm not sure I'm going to like it a little crooked. Got it with your blade. Uh, but I don't know. Let's see. How much do I have to cut off? I'd have to cut off. A, see, if I went this, 
then I'd be cutting off the whole bottom piece. Hold on. Let's see what we can do. If I mess this up, that's okay. I only use one thing of paper clay. Let's go down below the edge of that. And then how is that going to look? Oh, God. I guess that would look better. But then I'd have to, no, that's not. So we're going to put it up. That's what we're, we're just going to push it up again. So much for not touching it too much. I don't like it down because then there's a lip there that I don't like and I would have to fix it. What would I have to put there so it wouldn't look bad? How much are you going to tell that that's off? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm looking at it in all different angles. Not enough. Not enough. We'll try it. You know what? I'm going to put the front piece on it and see if I like it. If not, we'll have to rethink that. Sounds like a wiener. <laughs> okay. So, Christine, what else have you been doing? Have you gotten into your attic? And started to do more sewing. Wait a minute. Did the twins get born? And I'm just, I, Christine, my brain, I, I think I had too much eggnog. The twins well, weren't born. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> the twins weren't born yet, were they? You know, if eggnog didn't have so many calories in it, I would be, I made some homemade eggnog. And oh gosh, is that stuff good? <sighs> But I'd rather get a little dopey on that than the C6000. The twins didn't come, did they? Right? Did the twins come? No. I don't think so. Right? No, I don't think so either. But I forgot when she said she was due. Be right back. Having trouble with my left leg, no stairs, twins in March. Okay, good. So I didn't I didn't miss saying congratulations. Thank goodness. I didn't think I did. I'm trying to think of pictures. Um, you're having trouble. Is, is you the gout again or whatever, or you twisted it? One thing I can say about her pregnancy, she's very lucky to have it during the winter time. Yeah. Especially with twins. Now the heat can make it crazy, but if she has a lot of snow, that can make it really hard too, to because you can't walk too well anyway. Well, I couldn't. Shouldn't talk for everybody. I look like a beach well, and I didn't even have twins. So walking in the snow would not have been fun. And wait, both of my kids were born. One was born in January, one was born in February. Yeah, and I think the year that we had my, I had my son was the most snow we've ever had in the entire. It was like snowing every other day, but it would snow like eight inches, not like two inches. It was horrendous. I hate snow. Hate it. Hate it. I know everybody else likes it, but I despise snow. I don't mind if it goes on the lawn. And on the trees and on the bushes, but the minute it starts to go on walkways and roads, that's it. Plantar fasciitis and bad knee. Is that is the first one you were talking about? Is that the one where like there's a tendon in your foot that um is pulling or something? Yeah, I have no idea what that planter, whatever it is, is. I don't even want to try to pronounce it. Yeah, that one's not, you're not sticking you down? Yes. Yes? Okay.
Well, my right knee is beginning to bother me. And that's because I can only be a certain weight. And then things start bothering me. And the minute I go over that weight, which I have with all the eating and drinking, um, knees start to bother me, back starts to act up. So I have to start, I've been trying to be really good um, and not eating all the chocolate that's around the house. And But then I went and bought ginger snap cookies because we didn't bake this year. We just didn't. I don't know. We just weren't motivated. Megan wasn't motivated to bake. So I, I leave the baking to her. So we didn't bake this year. Um, so I bought ginger snaps, which isn't a smart thing to do, but I was shopping yesterday, my food shopping. And I have to tell you, I'm trying not, I'm going to try to keep my food shopping to an absolute minimum now because, um, it's just rising. And I just want to stay away from people as much as humanly possible, you know, even with them, even with double masked, I want to stay away from people as much as possible. Yucky, 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 yucky. Okay. I had to go for a little bit while Billy just got home. Hugs. Oh, okay. Hey, Barbara. Have a good day, sweetie. Affects the heel and the back of the leg. It's a burning in my heel and can't stop Ooh. down. Yeah. Can't step down. Yeah. My girlfriend had it so bad that they were, what did they say? Not an operation. I don't think they were going to give her an operation, but it was pretty bad. She's going for um, therapy. What do you call that? Physical therapy? Yeah. Trying to help that. Okay. Just trying to get some of this stuff off my hands because I can't. There's so much of it on my fingers that I can't feel what I'm doing. Okay. Knife. Oh, the knife's out. Just hit the camera. Hoback says, so what's the lamp going to look like? It's, it's a clock. It's a clock, sweetie. It's going to be my mantle clock. Well, a clock then. <laughs> we're not. We're not quite sure. We didn't get to that yet. <laughs> this is sort of. This is sort of. Uh, figuring out as you go. This is the latest. The latest way to craft. Have no absolute idea. Just have a general idea and just figure it out as you go, which leads me to say that if I don't like it, I can just take it apart and do it again. Isn't that? Which is par for the course for me. I do that all the time. 
Wake up, Martha. Wake up. No, Holly, you already had yours. You go away. Okay, so let's just get some glue down here. Some glue in there. Don't fall. Put your fingers in the glue you just pressed it and put down there just because you didn't have enough gunk on your fingers. Okay. Now I just need a little piece for over there. So let's get a little piece. Is this some am I putting you know what this let me make let let me not make a mistake. This goes like this. Oh, Holbeck said Russell's girlfriend died Christmas Eve morning. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Russell, my condolences if you're here listening. I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah, sending our condolences. I tell you, this year's been a, it's been pretty brutal for people. What'd she die from? It's really important. Do you know what I did? Did I do that? Did I really do that? Yep, I did. Oh, I am so smart. Oh, that's sad. Did I do this right? No, oh, I didn't do this right. This has a pattern. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sorry. I this has a pattern and I did not put wait a minute. Can I get this piece off without ruining it? Oh, wait a minute. I might like that the way it goes down that way more than I like this one. Okay, so we're going to take this one off. Ah, Phenomena. Right? Now, am I going the same way? This thing has... No, that's the same way. This has a pattern. Now, I just took this piece off here. Okay, we'll put that. Okay, now now we're getting in, into the, after all that little sculpting I did. Have okay, to that. Down syndrome. She was 58, and that's all really old for Downs. Yep, yeah, from what I heard. Oh. Is Russell there? Because if he is, I just want him to know that, you know, we're all giving him our condolences. And virtual hugs. Yep. Okay. I can't see what she's right because I'm trying to sculpt this so it doesn't. He's in his room. Oh, gosh. Does he? This is an odd question, but does he understand? Can you explain it to him? Does he understand it, or does because sometimes they don't? Depending, I mean, I, I'm not trying to be insensitive, Christine. So if I say that, I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm being, but sometimes they don't understand it. Good way to put it, Joanne. Yep. Now, when this dries, guys, and I don't like, 
I can add just little bits of it to make it um, continue so it doesn't look that bad. I can do that, but most of the time you wouldn't even like notice it. But what I did was I messed this side up. So we're going to redo this side. I don't like how that looks. It got messed up. So we're redoing it. Okay, then redo it. Yep, not a big deal. Although this has glue in it. Let's see if this will add into all of this. it will be too much glue. Well, I guess I should go in there and make me some tea. Roll a few cigarettes and maybe head my butt into the craft room. Oh, okay. In a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Another day. Her sister's. I've got to work time. on it. And if I'm going to be in there at least for 14 hours, oh my God, I know that's too much to do. It's a good friend of mine. He understands, but they live in the. Oh. <sighs> I just hope none of this bad, this horrible news continues into 2021. I, whoever knew when this year started on New Year's and we were all like 2020, oh, what a horrendous, what a tough year this has been for everyone in one way or the other, some more than others, I tell you. It's not been a pleasant year. I don't think anybody is going to miss seeing 2020 go, honestly. Well, then, Christine, I'm sorry for your loss also since you are, she, she's a friend of your sister. I mean, I don't, um, one of the aides I work with, well, I don't work with her. She works in the school building. I know her, not well, but her mom passed away. Her mom was very sick. I don't know what she passed away from. I don't think it was COVID. Um, and they were having an awake and I didn't think they were even doing wakes anymore, but I guess I guess they are because I really haven't been paying attention. I'm just trying to, you know, do what I have to do to get through. And uh, I didn't go, but I did send her a condolence card. Um, I made the determination that unless, you know, you're a very close friend that lost somebody, I am not really going to be going to those kind of gatherings. So. Right. I mean, no disrespect. I sent her a card as soon as I, you know, I went and got a card and tried to get it out as fast as possible. Hopefully with the mail, she'll get it sometime before the year is over. Um, my teacher went because she had had her as an aide in her room. So she felt that she should go. And that was very sweet of her. But, you know, between going to school, which, uh, you know, going to school and food shopping, that's, that's about as much socializing as I want to do. Basics and work. My teacher was home because she was exposed or her daughter was exposed and her daughter couldn't go to school. So she was home and we had to do virtual learning. So we had her come in on a one of our laptops and she was on the big screen. It was, it was crazy. We made it work. Thank goodness it was around mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. So it wasn't for like a really long time that we had to do this because it wasn't exactly easy, but I mean, we made it work because you had to make it work. You don't really have that many options, you know, you got to make things work on these strange times, but it's getting, Lots of kids are out and teachers are out and with the holidays that we're having between Christmas and New Year's, two weeks into, I will be very surprised if my school is still open two weeks into the, the uh, New Year with everybody that's going to be gone. I'm surprised it's still open, period. I mean, well, that too, but we didn't have late crowds. Right? We would have gone to Illinois. Oh, okay. Or if there wasn't COVID, yes. I'm surprised it's still open too, but what can I, you know? I, I, I'm surprised because, and this is what I don't get. 
I don't understand this. The parents are the ones who want us to be in school because they're saying that their kids don't learn as well virtually. Okay, I got that. I can understand that. Whatever. They're young. Some of them are young. We're talking about first graders too, you know? Um, but first graders to me, they watch cartoons, they watch all those shows and they learn from those shows. So I, whatever. Okay, we're just going to go. But if you're the ones who want us to stay in school, then why are you having parties in which you are inviting other people in your home and you don't wear a mask? Like, I, you can't have it both ways. I, I, I don't understand. I've been having a lot of problems this year understanding people. I, it's, you want us there, we're there. We're here. We're there. I'm there full time because my kids, eh, my kids are, it's, you know, need us to be there full time. My kind of, you know, the kids that I work with, they wanted us there. We're there. Why are you, if you want us to stay in school and, you know, you're complaining about there were so many problems, your kids aren't learning, then why are you having parties? No, the problem is, is that we've talked about it before is the parents are not committing to teaching their children. That's true. They're not. They're not. But but the whole thing is, if you want us there, if you want the teachers there, why are you doing if you're the one who wants us, then why are you doing everything to make it difficult? I mean, I I get. How is that really difficult? You go in, you do your job. Yes. But first of all, I could be exposed, which I don't really want to. And second of all, there when they don't when yeah we all get it we all get it i okay. think we get it well when teachers get sick and there's there's been a lot of classrooms that had to go to the library because the teacher was sick and there's a lot of kids that come in and they're sick and then they're not getting the education so if there's a certain percentage we go into it i don't know what it was but because they keep changing the rules but a month ago if there's a certain percentage um that we get into a yellow hot zone or some nonsense. Now we have hot zones. I don't know what's going on about that. Um, that they're going to come in and they're going to test us to keep it open. But if you want the school to be open, then stop, stop trying to spread the disease. Yes. Understandable. Very understandable. And we also have some parents, and this is what really bugs me, really bugs me, is they won't take their kids' temperature. And we've told them they can't come into the school unless they take their temperature. And there's some parents who won't do that. Now, why won't you take your kids' temperature before you go into school? What is the big thing about taking your kids' temperature and putting it on a nap? I have it on my phone. I have to take my temperature before I even leave the house and tell them what my temperature is to make sure that it's not over 100 degrees. What's what's the problem? And yet we have parents in this district and we are not in a poor district. So you can't tell me they can't afford thermometers. It just, I don't know, just drives me crazy. Okay, go back to crafting. Because I'm yeah. nuts. Crafting. 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 Okay, now, because I didn't realize, and hopefully I did it right. Yes, I did. This thing has a, <laughs> has a pattern direction. So you have to put it the right way. Holy moly. Okay. That's June at her best. And that's why we had to redo this side because uh, the pattern wasn't correct. Nothing like it. I think maybe I could try to do one more side without ruining it. Let's see if I can. We will try to do that. If not, then we'll just stop with doing that until that stuff dries. Oh, boy. Okay. This has got to go the full way. You're in a red zone? Wait, oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Let's go to Vanessa first. The town where I live is in the red zone and the schools won't close. They have most of the kids, they have most of the kids have been exposed and has got the virus and still in school. Lovely, Vanessa. Love it. Love it. I'm sure the nurses and the doctors in your area, wherever you live, must be very happy about this news. And Joanne's in a red zone too. Holy moly. I think I'm in a yellow zone. I'm not quite sure. Well, I, I think I'm yellow. I don't know. 
I have no idea because they keep lying about it. So, well, I think they're lying, but whatever. Okay. I know Barbara was saying something about um, she doesn't think they're going back to to school in North Carolina. She was thinking that. I don't know. If Barbara comes back, we can ask her. Martha, what color are you in? Do you know? Uh, nope. I, now, I remember you said a couple of weeks ago that they put everybody in quarantine. Are you still in quarantine? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Supposedly, the bars are not going to be open until January 15th. Oh, okay. So <laughs> they say we're in lockdown, but lockdown. if you go outside this house, you couldn't tell there's any lockdown anywhere. Really? Yeah, because you go by the craft stores and they are totally full. Okay. So by any store, they're totally full. It it just. So it's only the bars that are in lockdown. I mean, the bars are the. I'm sorry, the bars that are closed. Everybody's got a different way of handling. Isn't this crazy? So it's just the bars and restaurants, but all the stalls like. Uh, well, right I went and picked up fish and chips yesterday, and. I think you could eat inside. I wasn't for sure. Wow. I don't know. I haven't went down Miller Road. Miller Road's where all our food is. And anything that's got a drive through you can guarantee it's got a mile-long car in it. Uh. People just do not know how to cook at home. Yep. And I didn't want to cook, so I went and picked me up fish and chips. All right. I bought some codfish yesterday at um, Trader Joe's, so I'm going to make some for New Year's Eve. I'm going to make some cod. I love cod. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Vanessa, my grandkids are homeschooled for now. My daughter doesn't want them in school. Absolutely. Christine's in a red zone. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's okay. I know my sister out in California told me that she it's so bad out there right now. And I felt so bad that somebody had it. She couldn't even get into that. She, okay. My sister's husband works for some type of something in the military. I'm not quite sure. And he's an engineer and um, he's been building tents outside of hospitals now because they have no room in the hospitals. And she knows somebody who had COVID and the poor girl had to stay in a, in a tent to get to get treated so that's how bad they are okay vanessa's in total lockdown i wouldn't even know how to look it up let me see if i can figure it out um michigan Lockdown. <laughs> I yeah. have no idea. That sounds pretty good. Michigan lockdown. Is this one not staying? Uh, I'm going to have to fix that. Okay. Press now. release. State of Michigan. Pushback continues over Michigan. See restrictions. Let's open that one up. Yeah. Uh, Killing nurse home facilities. Um, December. December 28th. That ain't telling me nothing. Let's get out of there. Ah. I don't think Governor Como put us in a lockdown yet. I think he's been trying to avoid that because of the amount of people that would be unemployed. I think he's closed restaurants in Manhattan. So if you had that outdoor takeout, I think you could do that. But I don't know if that was him or de Blasio. I can't tell anymore. But he's starting to, you know, something about switching people from one hospital to another. He's getting plans to do that. Uh. 
I have no idea how to find it, people. <laughs> what did you put as your search? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Well, I put Michigan lockdown, but okay. what would I type? I don't know. No, that's what I would think that you would type. I wouldn't know what else you would type. Uh, see. Uh, Michigan see. COVID. Maybe you'll get some information there. Or your governor, whoever he is. You have a lockdown in Sweden. We have a curfew. We have a total lockdown unless you are. I have two kids that are essential workers. That would be very scary, Vanessa. I know. We have a curfew. Mekin, what does your state law not allow? A curfew? Because you're saying the are... Yes. One, well, four. One, two, three, four. Four frames. And four frames. You missed that part. We were I have E six thousand and um hot glue. I didn't uh, this piece over here's gotta get done a little bit more, which I will do because once I get this piece on here, I think I'm gonna call it a day because I gotta tell you the fumes of the E six thousand are sort of getting me a little nauseous like a little hot, like dizzy headed. And I don't really want to breathe any more of this stuff. And I haven't figured out what I'm doing with the outside of the clock yet. So maybe I'll, if I could figure out what I'm doing with that, we can continue. I don't know. Oh. No idea. Let's put it the right way. It's this way. Okay. Oops. I didn't do that. What is, you know, this, this particular bottle has always been real. I don't know if the glue was thicker. It's always been a little harder, this bottle. I don't know why, as compared to other ones. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Okay. Now, where am I? Is this the right way? This is the right way. This way. There is no lockdown or shelter in place. Order coming from Michigan. What? There is no lockdown. Oh, okay. From Michigan. That's not something that we're con contemplating here in Michigan, Whittemore says. Uh, is that currently? Because a lot of people change their minds. Sorry, I'm out of screen. Okay. No, let's just make sure I did that right. Okay. Just try and make sure I, I did the pattern. I know it's hard for you to see that there is a pattern on this, but there is, and it does go. <sighs> Oh, my God. Now, this is bothering me that it's not sticking. So let me get the hot. Oh, let's get my hot glue gun back on. Oh, what fun. Let's get that. Hi, Lynn. Good morning. Hi, Lynn. Not getting. Oh, so, oh I'm sorry about that, Lynn. Sometimes, um, sometimes you have to, if you have the bell on, take the bell off and okay. then put the bell on. I don't know why. That Because sometimes YouTube does that. It does that to me too. I wasn't getting notifications. So what I did was I turned off the bell and put on the bell. Weird what you have to go through sometimes. Okay. You know what? I'm going to try to do the last side just to get that done. And then 
we'll see where we go from there. If we have nothing else to do, then we'll just say sayonara, you know, so long. We got this part done. It's the beginning, the base. And then um, Martha can go on later. Or now, or whatever. Is this crooked? You know, I am real, you know, I have to say something. I am real sloppy when I am live. Let's not cut the finger or slip. Very, very sloppy when I'm live. Too I much to read. I don't want to read it. There we go. I might, you know what I might do? I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. So we can just show some, some other thing. This one's not staying on so well, but you know what? First of all, come on off. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. There is no need to be this sloppy. Ugh. We don't like, why is this one not, it'll stay. Oh, we will get it to stay. If I have to screw things into it, it'll stay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Michigan COVID-19 restrictions begin Wednesday. That was like November 17th. Yeah, I remember, I do remember you saying that you were in quarantine. Or so a lockdown or something because you said, "Ooh, what is this thing? Am I?" Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Ugh, icky. There was an icky in there, a brown icky. Don't know how I got brown icky and white glue, but that's okay. <clears throat> All right. Meow. Yeah. So Joanne, what, what, oh, I know you were just creating pieces. You would just wanted to create paper, clay pieces. Okay. So what else is everybody up to? I know Martha is is gearing up to go and doing her northern exposure. Oh yeah. You're gearing. You're gearing. Believe me, I'm trying to psych myself into it. I know, but I think it's going to be fun. What, okay, so what's the next? Let's do this. Let's think logically. And what else is everybody else? Can you use heavy meat heavy to glue? To, yes. Yes, you can, Joanne. Uh, yes, you can use heavy uh, gel medium to glue down the paper clay. Yes. Sometimes, like a lot of people haven't used any glue i just use glue to make sure that it's on where i want it you know to go on and and an extra thing um and also because this is sort of metallic well it is you know it's not really metal but it's got a metallic and a plastic covering that i was trying to um rough up with the sandpaper a little bit but you can use that. You could use white glue. I've used fabric tack. I've used anything. Just I like to make the bond a little bit stronger and make sure that it stays there. So um, I go over and above. Like when I was putting it on the masks, it would have stuck on the masks uh, that we were doing when we did the mask contest. But I just decided to be like, you know, I like my things to stay together. So I always put glue down little layer of glue i just think it makes it stay better i i ugh, the c6000 is getting to me i have to tell you oh fabric tack yeah um with this kind of a with this kind of a thing that's the only reason why i'm using the um e6000 because i really want it to hold and then i'm going to put which i'll do next is i'm going to put some to put epoxy in some of these areas, and I'll show you where. I just want to get this molding done first. All right, I'm gonna get my footies on. Okay, so what do you 
What is the next step that you have to do, Martha? On your what is the next step I have to do. Oh, Lord. The next step what I have to do is paint the base. And, and then are you painting it a darker color so you can put the snow on top of it? To there's no it? snow. There's not going to be no snow. Oh, there's no snow. I thought for some reason there was going to be snow. Everybody keeps thinking that, but no, there's no snow. Okay. No snow, everybody. It's going to be kind of a fall. Oh, uh, fall. In the fall type thing. Oh, look at that. Okay. So I have to paint the base. Okay, that's oh, step one. God. I think the next thing after that will be pouring the resin. That's part two. Or do I do the other stuff and then pour the resin? Because the resin's going to take. Oh, Lord. The resin is, do you have the 24 hour resin? Yeah. Got to use clear resin. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> that's well, okay. Those are the steps. <laughs> okay, well, the thing is, let's see, you have to be whatever you do put on it. If you start gluing things on it, you have to make sure that you give yourself an angle to pour the resin. That's the only thing, right? Right. So, I'm thinking it would probably be. Well, I want some grass in the creek, and I think I might have to add some grass to it before I pour the resin. And I don't know if I can dye the grass yet. What color is the grass? It's a beige. Do you have any alcohol inks? Yeah. Well... Yeah, I don't know. I bought some and blues. It's got some teals, greens. I don't know. I guess we got to do some experiments. Oh, experimentation. Yes, ain't that fun? Well, yeah, I have to make a mess like I happen to be making. I can't do this side. Phenomenal. But. If it's going to be kind of fallish, the tr the grass is going to be kind of brown anyway. Cream color, whichever you want to call it. I don't know. That's why I haven't worked on it in a couple days. It's like, I don't know. I feel like I've been a little more off than I can chew. So this project's got me a little stumped. And believe me, I've watched videos over videos over videos, and it's like, oh, boy. The only way to get over it is get up and get her done, huh? Well, or, I mean, let it sit until the, you know, the, the, if it's something you don't want to do because you don't want to try it, that's one thing. But if there's something that you have to think through, sometimes you just, I mean, I have one project that I've had for years that, you know what, I've just decided I'm going to redo the whole darn thing because it's not, it's, it's not going to come out the way I want to. I do not have the skill set to make it look the way I want it to, nor do I want to take the time to develop the skill set. So I'm just going to redo it. Well, I want to develop it. Any any kind of craft, you know me. I'm setting my mind to it. I will get her done. Okay. Well, then I am sure you're going to figure out what you need to get done for this thing. Yeah, which is make tea. So I'm going to mute and I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Now, which way do I have to put this? Let's see. It's why is this so hard for me to figure out? Is it this way? Yes, it's this way. All right, you know what? I want to go like this. Okay. All right. Let's 
she left for that question. She's going to make herself some tea. I don't know if she finished Herb's album or not. Does anybody know? I like fabric tack for everything, but Nikki said to be mindful of the humidity. I have a jar of unopened gel medium. I need, uh, okay. Well, if it's unopened, it won't go any. It, I've had gel medium, like I had Liquitex gel medium that was in a jar. That stuff lasted forever. As long as you, um, as long as you put the cover on, it lasted me. I had Liquitex and gloss and matte, and that thing lasted at least a year or more. And I've had gel medium last a long time for me, as long as you cover it. It's fine. It doesn't dry. It hasn't dried out. Maybe the top. But then when I always do what I used to do anyway, I hope I'm still doing it, is when I was finished using it for a project, I'd scrape around the, the, the sides and put that on the top and then just covered it so that because the sides will dry out if you leave that for a long time, but the base of it won't. So I to be cost effective, I um, I scrape the sides and put it down in the middle. And it's lasted, they've lasted a very long time for me. As far as humidity with fabric tack, I've never had a problem with that. I don't know. I've used fabric tack with everything. The only reason why I'm not using fabric tack is here because, like I said, I wanted to get a strong, a really strong bond with it. I'm not too sure how strong it's becoming, but. Okay, one more piece. See, this one's coming off. Shoot a mango. I knew it was coming off. Okay, because there was very little to connect it from one thing to the other. Okay. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Okay. Oh, well, that's getting a well little messed up. Okay, is this, I don't, well, I do smell it now. All right, no. Okay. Am I going to, am I going to need a new glue stick besides everything else right in the middle of this? Probably. If I could just get it really centered on the, on the sides, because I'm going to fill in. Okay. Get that. <laughs> okay. That's down. That is down. I'm going to fill in on here. With, like I said, the epoxy clay, so that'll hold it more. Okay. Uh huh. There's a little. Oh, shoot. Here we go. It's not right. Sorry, guys. This is what I go through. If it's not right, I can't do it. It's not right. So let's get this off. What is this? Is this hot glue too? And I need to get another glue stick because I'm running out of glue. All right. Well, first let's try to get this off without taking off my finger. And why is this sticking out? Okay. 
Well, now I have everything on my hands. Okay. Not looking at chat. Just give me a second. We're having a momentary aggravation. And of course, it would be smarter if I tried to do this off screen and so that when I showed it to you, I was like, look how easy this is. Got glue going all over the place. Okay. Well, Christine, this is my normal thing when things don't work out. I get very agitated. I don't like when things don't work out the way they're supposed to. I should be used to it by now with all the crafting I've done, but it still aggravates me to no end. This would be the same thing I was doing if I was live or not live. Except for the cursing. It would be more cursing. Okay. We'll start from, from the beginning. Okay. All right. Now that I've made a total mess, move the hot glue over there so I don't burn myself. Let's try to clean up a little of this take off things I don't need up here. Okay. okay. Now we're back to the beginning. Well, this one's on steady. Not when I put glue on. So. Let's get another glue stick. Take your time. Yep. All right. Hold on. I'm getting a glue stick. I don't know where my glue sticks are. Ah, here we go. Ah. That. Woo! This thing is stinky. Reading back up on the comments, yes. I tr heavy body gel. Maybe I should use that here. Maybe you have a good idea. Maybe I should just put some gel here. It'll just take a while to dry, but so does the E6000, so I don't have to use that smelly thing. You know what? That is what I'm going to try. I am going to try because after I get this last piece, there's really not much I can do because I have to let the paper um, clay dry, I think. Or maybe I can go around with another mold. I don't know. Maybe I can go around with another one of those things. Or I'm not sure if I want to put ribbon around here might be because um, the moles that I have don't really, these kind of moles that I have, the other one that I have, I'm not sure if it really matches this. So, all right, first things, I am going to finish this so I can finish that piece there so I can put the paper clay away for a second. So we're going to do first things first. Now, which side, when I take it out, so I really should do this side. So when I take it out, the pattern goes down. So I should do this side. Okay. <clears throat> so what is everybody else up to? Are they all in a funk? You all in a funk like... I sort of am. Christine, I know you can't sew because you can't get up the stairs because of your leg. So 
Is anybody else creating or crafting right now? When you people, if anybody who has Christmas trees up, when do you take them down? Do you wait for New Year's? I Luckily, we have a weekend after Saturday and Sunday after New Year's, so I'm going to be taking it down right away. Oh, Nick, and you're making an ephemera out of scraps and envelopes. That's nice. So do you cut out them and then put them on stuff? Ephemera is that really pretty like tags, right? I'm not a you can tell how bad I'm I am as a paper crafter. Olivia, what are you doing? New Year's Day, you're gonna take it down New Year's Day? I might even do yeah, might start taking it down that day too. Okay. Did I really do this wrong again? It is a I amaze myself. It's got to be this way. Yeah, it is that way. Okay. I didn't think I was losing it that much. Ooh, smudged it there. Smooth it out a little bit. Bring that down a little bit. Smudged it in the same spot, both places. Oh, okay. Putting pieces of scrap paper and glue it on envelopes like a quilt. That sounds that sounds like fun. Oh. Are you gonna I'm oh, sorry, I got the glue top in my mouth. Are you gonna post pictures so we can see it? You know I have to have pictures. So you can peek inside. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, Bo. Glad you're back. Barbara, if you're back, how's Billy doing? Okay. Well, we got the base sort of done. Now, if any of this, like here, is going to be a crack, that's okay. I'm not, at this point, if it's a little old looking when it's all done, that's fine. We're not doing anything that looks brand new. Okay. So I can get all of this. This piece dried up on me. So that's going to go in the garbage. The glue top can go on. Oh, on um, aren't you in one of the groups? Hey, Sandy, how are you? Good morning, Sandy. Are you in any of the groups? You're in kittens, right? Oh, Martha's back. Hey, Martha. She's muted. But she's back. Yeah, do it and put it in kitten crew. I can't see it right now because if I start flipping around. Oh, 
Martha has some eggs and toast. Wow, good for you. Something good in your stomach before you go over to your northern exposure and start working. <laughs> hey, misery enjoys company. Okay, we are up to this. Dun, da, 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 da. Let's move things out of the way. I think I'm getting high from that E6000. <sighs> Just trying to get some of the other glue off. I'll put them there later. I had toast. I didn't, you know what? I just realized that I didn't have anything for breakfast yet. I, I'm having my coffee. Repeat after me, everyone. Coffee. Okay. Let's we're gonna we're gonna have fun with this because I don't feel like E6000 it again. How much do I have to put? We'll slather that stuff on. I want this. Why is this not going in as much as the other one? Did I not? Okay, now it's glued in there. Okay, so let's, we're just going to do a little housekeeping. The cardboard was sticking out from the back of the frame. So is that we didn't really like that. So that's why we just did that. Okay. Messy, Wessy. All right. Hold on. We're getting some. Where is it? That's not it. Hold on, guys. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to do it two ways now. This is um, soft gel, but that's okay. Just going to slather this on here. Slather. We're slathering. Hopefully there will be some connecting. If I slather it on thick enough, I am sure there will be. And then this thing, once it dries, which it will... It's like icing a cake. The only problem is I don't ice cakes. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't. Uh, when I bake, I usually like making loaf pans, like pumpkin breads and stuff like that. Although I have iced cakes, it's not something I've learned how to do really well. And I don't use royal icing. I'm not that into that. So let's see if we can get that. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm Christine. I didn't hear. Christine's going in here. This is a cookie tin. It took off the back and it had um, an acetate, thick acetate with the little design. I cut it out. So the, the clock is going in here and, and standing onto this thing. I'm going to wash my hands. I'll be right back. Martha, chat with them. Okay, I don't 
usually mind if I get paint on my hands or even sometimes glue, but that paper clay gets on you and you can't feel anything. Well, that's good. <laughs> Thanks, Martha. Blah, 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 blah. That was interesting. Blah. <laughs> okay. Very good. All right. Let's, let's see if we can burn ourselves now with the hot glue again. Now, you know, Crystal always says to do this little trick, and I have never accomplished it that it works. I don't know. We're going to try it again just to show that I have tried. You put a little glue on there, and then you put this on your glue stick, the other glue stick, and hopefully it goes right through. It has never worked for me. Oh, look at this glue stick. This is pretty big. Look at that. But there's always a first time. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Is it working? I don't think that little trick. See, it doesn't work for me. Come on, buddy. And now the other side is going to dry by the time I get this out. There we go. Whatever. Come over here. Line it up. Line it up. So, uh, get out of the way. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. The glue doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't work for you either, Joanne. She has to make a to-do list. Hi, Cynthia. I'm glad you're back. This piece came off. I don't know if it came off before or after you left, but we have to put it back again. And now we're going to just try to make all of this a little bit neater. Okay. All right. Well, we accomplished that. Huh. You're moving around in there, huh? Why aren't you sticking? Get back here. You're not, uh, did I put too much of the other stuff on that you're not going to stick now? This is going to be fun. I just need you to stick a little bit. Okay. That's all I need you to do is stick a little bit. Because then we're going to get you down there. If I have to screw you in through glass. Well, I can't screw you in because I have the glass in. That won't work, June. Rethinking. Rethinking. Oh. You know, it's always got to be one. Okay. I don't think hot glue sticks with Joe, but you know what? You can always try. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it only works if no other glue touches the hot glue. Is that like GPS rerouting? <laughs> uh, we are just going to try everything. As long as it gets, sticks to a little bit to begin with, because I am going to put stuff in there that's going to make it stick more. I just need the initial bond so I can go forth and conquer. I don't know if it's there. Okay. And then once I give the soft gel the time to dry, because I think I'm touching soft gel, it'll be fine. 
a little messy, but fine. But we can clean that all up in no time. See, it cleans up because the metal is still pretty shiny. I don't know. No, it's not staying. You're right, Christine. It's not working. Let me just see this. If it's not going to work, is it touching? No. Hmm. Okay. Rethinking again. Rethinking again. I can tell it's not touching because I'm not having any of the soft gel getting smushed on here. So I know what to do now. We'll try another thing. There's always ways to get this done. Always a different way. All right. Touching a little bit there. So I'm going to mound it up. What do I have on my spatula? Mound it up a little bit. Martha makes gorgeous boxes. Yes, she does. Absolutely. And this is why I'm not good at icing cakes. But this is sort of really important that this piece stays down because this is where the clock is going to be attached to. So this one has got to really sort of stay down. Let's see now. And of course, it's not going to stay down now because the soft gel has to dry a bit. Okay. Sorry for my head. I know it was in there. Okay, let's see if I do this like a little grout. No, I was or was I gonna use the um the other thing? Ah, let me try a little of this while I'm here. Since I have it open. A little grouting technique here. There's layers that where the frame goes in that I'm going to have to take care of. That's why I was going to use the um, epoxy. But right now, just to get this sealed so it's st it sticks really good, so it doesn't come off, because I don't know how much contact. Now, usually what I would do if I was making this without frames, if this was wood, I would put screws in here to connect them so that to know that they wouldn't come apart. But because I'm leaving the glass in the frames, I really can't do that. So we are going to have to rely on glue of different natures. And if it's the if it gives me more of a hard time, I'll put two part epoxy on this thing, the two part epoxy glue, and I'll make sure it stays down. But we'll try the soft gel. The only problem is between the soft gel and the paper clay around here, I have to let this dry. Um, because if the more I touch it, the worse it's just going to keep slithering around. But I just want to clean some of it off because that, wah, see, because that, um, that gel can, uh, doesn't come off very easily once it's on. What about super glue? Uh, Mm. You know, super glue is good, 
and I use super glue for things. And if that doesn't work, maybe I'll try that. But I, I with this kind of thing, I know super glue is very good, uh, good glue and it holds things, but I'm going to bring out the big guys. I'm going to bring out the two part epoxy glue and that, that, um, I don't know why I, when I trust super glue, but I trust the two part epoxy glue more. And I'm just trying to get off some of the, the, uh, what do you call this? The gel medium when it's still slightly wet because sometimes it's hard to get off when it's dry because it sticks. You switched over. Let's get over here a little bit more. Yeah, super glue is not made for everything. You're back. That is Jack. How did you make eggs that quick? What heck kind of eggs did you make? You're only gone for like two minutes. What did you make? Scrambled? No, I cooked some in bacon grease. And really? Oh, they were wow. big eggs, too. No, I guess not. To cook. Once you get them, once you get the, it hot. Took longer for the toast to toast than it did making the eggs. Yeah. Now I'm going to sugar me up some fudge and a little bit Look of at milk, that. and I'll be good for the day. And you'll go in your room and start crafting. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. This is about as clean as I can make it just now. I'll probably be nitpicking at it all day, you know. So are no. you keeping that gold paint. color in that? Because I'm trying to get Why the glue off of it. Why are you buffing it so much? Oh, the glue, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The glue. That's right. Hold back. What? The only way oh, to make eggs is I, with bacon grease. I don't have grease. bacon in the house. I use butter with scrambled eggs. Well, scrambled eggs, okay. I use butter. But when you fry an egg, man, you got to have bacon grease. Bye, Ollie. Bye, Oliver. Oh. Have a good day, sweetie. Hi, Bo. Yes. What are you painting, Sandy? Not Oliver. Not Olivia. Oh, I'm so confused. Bye, Bo. <laughs> I think I think the fumes have gotten to me. Whew. Okay. Well, it's a start. You know, it's it's more together than it was when I started this morning. So. It's a start. We will. We're getting there. You're accomplishing. Least, even if it sits here and doesn't do anything, at least I got it started. I could say that. Another piece that I started and didn't do anything with. Okay. All righty. I don't. Over easy. That's I don't I like have. It. Um, Oh, gotta have egg pans. Gotta have egg pans. For so the what do you do? You fry easier. your bacon and then you take the grease and put it in a container. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mom never used bacon grease, so you'll excuse me. I don't. That's not something I've ever really did. <laughs> oh, I know. I am. A, I mean, I'm getting a little high here from the from the smell of the C6000, and I'm telling you, it's not fun. I don't know why why those kids used to huff glue, but it's not fun. Did anybody else have that when they were? Oh, well, I'm talking years ago. We we used to call them glue heads or something. Was that what we called them? But even forgot what we call them. Hmm. 
got to have egg pants. Neekin, you're goofy. Ah, stop it. Stop moving. Okay. This is going to move. This is going to go on the side bit. until some of this stuff dries. So it's a little bit easier to touch yeah. something because everything is wet now. So I really can't. Let's get the mouse over here. Yeah. There I we go. About a year or so ago. Okay. Oh, okay, Sam. What a mess we made. So this is the epoxy sculpt that I was talking about. It's two, just to show everybody, it's two parts. There's the white part and the gray part, the grayish part. And you mix equal amount of pieces together. And you can it. And it's like, it's and? like polymer, not really like polymer clay, but you can sculpt with it. And um, it takes a while to dry. Oh, a couple of hours. How long does it take to dry? But you have about an hour's working time with it. Um, let's see if it tells you how long it takes to dry. You got to mix it for two minutes. Allow the product to rest five minutes for better handling so it's not as tacky. Uh, working time is one to three hours. Shape is desired. Smooth or texture with wet finger. Clean up soap or water. It's 24 hours full cure to rock hard semi-gloss finish. You can paint it. Yeah. So it takes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so I've what done, have you um, with it? Oh, I don't even. Like, I have, have done you? things that I couldn't put in the oven, and I don't even remember what they are now. But with any of the leftover that I have from a product that I've used, I would make little rocks or little mushrooms and keep them in a little area so that when I ever do scenery, I have um, little mushrooms and stuff and little rocks that I've made from using this. I don't even remember. I know I've used this stuff a lot, and I can't even think of where. That's how bad it is. That's how, like, dizzy I think that stuff made me. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's why I've used it for that. I don't usually sculpt with it. I don't make, like, people, but I use it to attach things. Uh, from one thing to you know to the other and I'm trying to think of what I've used it because it doesn't sculpt as easily as polymer clay it really doesn't you have there's like a whole nother just like when you're using paper clay any other different medium it's a whole different set of skills that you have to learn to use it I know people who do sculpt with it I'm not sure I can get as fine as a detail in this. Um, I think I could probably use it in molds, but uh, the paper clay is less expensive than this stuff. I don't know how much it is off the top right. of my head, but the paper clay is less expensive. So I use that for my molds, um, but you can use this, and then you get it. It does dry rock hard with this stuff. Um, just. I can't even think. I'm keep thinking the mouse with the the air the um, air balloon. I might have used some of it to connect things because I couldn't put it in the oven. And I know once you connect it with this, it dries. Glue heads. Okay. Hey, Deborah. How are you? Well, I have to tell you, if that's what they do, this this thing is like really. Ugh. Well, that one that I seen, it was a show. It was like Dumbest Criminals or some shit. And uh, the cops asking the guy, have you been sniffing paint? And he says, no, sir. No, sir. He says, are you sure about that? And all around his nose and mouth is all gold paint. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget that. Yeah. Spray can. Gold. Gold. Metallic. Spray can. Hey, Telly. Telly's been here. Been listening when I clean and got yelled at by the cat. Oh, okay. Hi, Telly. And because the glue got me high, that almost makes sense, Telly. Why did the cat yell at you?
It was on, yeah, people, I know, it's it's not it's not one of those kind of highs that I would definitely. Yeah, and, uh, <coughs> that might not have been. Okay, so one of the things that I have to figure out with this, there's a couple of different things that I was just saying, one of the reasons why, oh, look, it's noontime already. I've been on for a while. Um, Three hours on the dot. Really? Wow. Holy moly. You still sound above ground. Thanks for asking. And you, you sound well. I'm still above ground. I see. <laughs> I read it. You still sound above ground. I was like, oh, that's good. I don't sound high. No, I'm still above. I'm so glad, Deborah. I'm, I sound well because I've been sniffing this E6000, which is absolutely going to make me sick. And Jupiter follows me around meowing loudly everything, every day at all day wow okay Jupiter, i like that name Jupiter. Jupiter. okay so here's my dilemmas here which i have to figure out i could put get moles and put mold like molded pieces whether i use this mold or let's see i have three of the big ones where's the other two oh i have four Oopsie, lied. I was thinking of using this one because I like this for maybe the top piece. Or this, I've used this. And this one, hold on, I put it in with the paper towel. Those are my four molds that I have. So, and you can see, I don't know if you can see all that white stuff is cornstarch because. So I have to figure out what mold I want to use. I think I might like this, this piece right here, this one, as the piece that goes on the top, you know, like. Yeah, that's a that, nice piece. That's an, I don't know which way it would go. But see, that's what I have to figure out. So, well, this one, this is fun too. These. Or. That was one thing I was thinking. Or the other thing I was thinking is, and this on the bottom wouldn't um, make it look, it would go with it, is if I put like a tree branches, but I don't know how to finish it. That's the problem. Like make this look like it's coming out of a tree. And, but I don't think that's going to work with this design i'm gonna have to figure out another one and then of course you can put these things make them and put the, and let them dry and then put them on the side over here to connect the pieces come on over i can get you smelly thing you know like on the sides like here over here and over there and have some of those things over there so i have to figure that all out and that's what's been stopping me from completing this. So I think I'm done for the day. I've been on for three. How many hours? Three? Yep. So I think I'm done for the day. And I really have to get away from this, the smell of this E6000 because it's make it, making me a little bit sick. What so, you should do is have a little tiny desk fan. And when you use it, turn that fan on. Blow yeah. it away from you. Well, I like I I don't usually use it that often, and I've not don't think I've ever used it on a live before, <laughs> because usually I do walk away from it. Ugh. Okay, so let me switch over. Wait a minute, we gotta move all of this stuff out of the way. Let me switch over so you can say goodbye the right way. Oh God, I didn't even know. Okay. All right, ladies. So I'm great. I'm glad that you all joined me. We have a Jupiter, a Newt, a Mag Magnus, um I can't say Miyuki. Miyuki, yeah. Grindelwald, Butterfingers, and holy shoot. Juvia. That's one, two, wow, that's four, a lot five, of words. six, seven. You have eight cats? Yeah, I'm so I've been on for three hours. It's noon. I gotta get something to eat. I don't know, Martha, are you gonna go on or what are you thinking? 
I might not go on for hours. Okay. But I am going to go roll my smokes and get my butt in there. Okay. And start working on it. All right. So Martha might go on later. I might. I, I have probably should. Well, I, I went on at around 9 o'clock this morning, I think, Sandy. I, I went on pretty early. I don't know what time zone you're in, sweetie. Um, I'm in New York, obviously. Uh, so I'm on the Eastern time zone. But I think I went on at 9 o'clock, something yes, like that. Yes, you were on for three hours. It's now 12 o'clock. You were on. Look at your corner in your window. Yeah, I see the time. It's 12.11. I just can't see when I started. So, all right. Okay, so I want to say I can't believe that you're making a clock out of frames and a cookie. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's see how it works. Um, uh, only one cat is Magnus. Who's wait? Wasn't Jupiter? Wasn't cat? Jupiter the one yelling at you? Are you just saying it's only your cat, the only cat that you have, and the rest are all your kids' cats? Hugs, everyone stay well. All right. Well, we'll figure that all out. Um, so you guys, if I don't see you, have a very happy new year, safe. Let's all have good thoughts for the new year. Maybe everything this world will straighten out and things might go back to a little bit normal in 2021. I hope to see you before then, but I don't think so. So everyone stay safe, have a safe party, enjoy and until I see you again. Have fun creating beauty. I'll see you later, Martha. Bye-bye, bye, everybody. Guys. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to get going, Martha, so because okay. I got something to eat. Just